So we're going to go through the various functionality that you guys see on this vendor portal here. And then after we switch to Tiffany and do a little mobile, we'll dive into how this is made and what your options are as far as constructing a vendor portal like this. One thing about the look and feel of it, SharePoint is very configurable as far as the branding is Tiffany managed, my ability to change these colors, put logos on there, things like that. That's obviously one of the attractions to using SharePoint as the foundation for your portal. The other thing to highlight, we are using Office 365 here, so regardless if you have SharePoint on-premise or you're using it through Office 365, the portals that we're showing are really compatible with both. There's a little differences as far as how you authenticate users. If you're using Office 365, they have to have a live account to come in, so you have some options there, a little bit more options on-premise, but most certainly you could use Office 365 to manage these vendor portals as well. So we have a few action items here of things that we could see, maybe some project tasks, contracts, we'll go through those in a bit. And we see some company news that is being shared with my various partners, vendors, etc., about what's coming with the portal and then maybe the new mobile app. We see a highlight of tasks that maybe my vendor is working on a project for me and we want to collaborate on those tasks as well as a little video here of how the portal is used, what its capabilities are. So that's something we see quite a bit with customers is they'll create a screencast of how to use this thing and how it applies to their vendors and they'll publish that directly on the site. So to go through the various functionality, the first one we're going to look at is project tasks. So we'll click on that one first. Project tasks is going to open up a essentially a task list in that I am collaborating with my vendor on various project tasks as part of an initiative or a job that we're working on together. The vendor could go in here, obviously update these tasks, edit their completions, edit their due dates and things like that. We could collaborate. What you're seeing here is really nothing more than out of the box SharePoint. There is no integration with Dynamics and AV here specifically, but it does show you an example of how you could use the portal to collaborate with vendors on various communications or project work plans. If we go ahead and go back to the home page, we have a area here for vendor contracts. This is also something that we see the portal is used for quite a bit and that the vendor will maintain any of their specific contracts with the customer on SharePoint. And essentially what this works is we have workflow associated to it. So if I were just to go ahead and upload a new document here, and we'll go to my downloads, and I have a vendor SLA that I could open. And as you can see, of course, I've added it to the SharePoint document library. And if I refresh my screen here, I should see that it's going to kick off a workflow associated to it. So I could see the workflow here is in process for the vendor SLA, which I just kicked off. And what that means is it's going to kick off a approval process. And I'm actually going to get a notification here to review this document. As soon as I sync my email, it should be coming here shortly. It's going to assign me a task to review and approve this contract that's just been uploaded. And we got it. So here's my notification right here of the workflow being kicked off. And then I'm going to get one more here of the task assigned to me. So here's the task assigned to me to review this new contract and make sure it's all according to specifications. So as you can see here, I could view the vendor SLA if I do click on that. It's going to go ahead and open that document in Word. As you can see, I don't have anything too exciting on this contract, <laughs> but it is a sample. And then the other ability I have is to complete this task directly from Outlook. So I could open this task here. It's going to bring open my screen. I could see it's requested who it's assigned to, put in any comments. This looks good. And then either approve or reject it or potentially request a change or reassign this workflow to someone else, maybe within my organization. Maybe this contract is not applicable to me. So if I approve that, that's going to go directly back to SharePoint. And if I close out of my email here and go back to my workflow list and hit refresh, we should see hopefully this will go to approved here. It may take a second or two so we could come back to it but it should actually complete that task for me and update it to complete. So like I said, it'll take a minute so we could, oh, there it goes. Okay, so you can see the vendor SLA has been approved. In other words, it went through its one workflow stage. Obviously, that's a fairly simple one, but I approved it and now it's complete. So the vendor would receive an email there saying that their new contract has been approved and is in place with the organization. So that's the idea of managing contracts. We'll keep moving forward. 
Um, the next section we have here is inventory. And you may ask, why would I won't ever want to share inventory with a vendor? And that's a good question. We have seen that come up from various customers that the vendor is more or less responsible for maintaining stock levels for the inventory that they supply. So they have such a partner relationship that the vendor is ultimately the one who restocks it 